Praise the Lord. Shalom. May the peace of God that surpass every understanding be upon you. We thank God for another glorious day, the gift of life that our Almighty God has given unto us. God loves us so much. That is why He gave us Jesus Christ. And I always assure you that as long as you are alive, then know that God has something great for your life. And every word that God has said concerning your life shall be fulfilled. Don't be afraid. All that you have to do is have faith in the Lord God and also believe him according to his word. Claim it for yourself. May not be our strength nor by our power, but by the strength of the living God. By our own strength, we can't do it. But when we trust in the Lord our God, he will do all things for us. And I'm praying so. Osuru suru nyan go pon asu mi gwen kan. Nyame a odo ye o de yen kwache ye mbie. O da ni do di srun ko chere na me na Awurade Yesu Kristo a o de be ya for bo srun ko ma me no mi enu. Enu mu e na me no mi eni anya fa ho die. Eni nti ye kan se se Awurade wo ya fa. Hwan e na e se Jesus Christ wa di nkuni mo Calvary. Mo me nfa ye ho nto Awurade so. Na ye nya gidie wo na se mu. Ni entu ana mo. Bidru bebe no enye wa ho oden enye otumi na emom no dwene se onyankopon ne waka no ebebem yakoso ara wo luka nsempa ho we want to continue with the book of luke in the book of luke chapter 8 verse 22 now it happened on a certain day that he got into the boat with his disciples and he said to them let us cross over to the other side of the lake let us cross over let us cross over crossing over is changing things for better god is about to change things for better for your life but listen to me the word of god that came is that jesus said let us cross over to the other side now there are many many promises that god has given to us if you read further he said that and they launched out but as they sailed he fell asleep and a windstorm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and they were in jeopardy. Mark said, don't you care that we are dying the same uh, gospel? But here, what I want you to know is Jesus Christ has said something in our life. Whatever you want to do, remember that it doesn't matter the challenges of life that will happen to you. Whatever God has said will surely come to pass. Jesus said, let us cross over in your life you are crossing over into a new territory you are crossing over that darkness into a new life you are crossing over that poor marriage into a very happy and joyful marriage you are crossing over to that sickness uh, lack of health that has put you in that you are crossing over into a new life of good health as god has said but remember as you launch out the enemy will surely bring all kinds of challenges but listen to what God said. He said, let us cross over. You see, the Bible said that Jesus Christ was asleep. But the word of God said that he neither sleep nor slumber. He is with you. Christ is with you. Remember that he said, you are crossing over. This morning, you are crossing over into a new territory. Don't worry about the challenges. The challenges will come. But when they come, Christ will rise up against it. And I'll pay in your name or country and say, Ye 
and in tea or brambo, you go to a new place. Uber cobbe before fry, a yanch running could be day, and fa on your town from the bay, and fa on your bestia war, Coswana GD say, Send the radia can, near radia cano, a bebem. Believe in the word of God. The word of God says, let us cross over. It means that he is with us. The Lord is with you. So don't be afraid. We shall surely cross over and land in a new place. Shalom. Peace.